All right, welcome back. This is a quick video showing the uh, evidence that you would collect while completing determining bond type lab. Specifically, we are looking at the melting point determination. We have 12 different crystals and we need to be able to determine when they melt. So there's some observations about when or how quickly these uh, samples will melt. If they melt immediately, we're gonna write down less than 100 or you could also use a relative word like low. If they melt before the flame turns yellow, it's gonna be in the 100 to 300 range, which would be medium. If they melt after the flame turns yellow, it'd be greater than 300, which would be high. And if they never melt, we're gonna write down very high. I have the 12 different crystals set up in test tubes. Inside these test tubes, it's just the crystal. So in this case, it's a uh, ribbon looking sample. I do not put any water in this because I'm just using the test tube as a container to hold that crystal in order to try to melt it. So in the Bunsen burner, this crystal is not melting right away. The flame is starting to turn yellow. Still no melting. So this crystal does not melt inside our Bunsen burners. That would make that very high or greater than 500. And take crystal number two, white granular solid, put in the Bunsen burner. Okay, it's just starting to melt right now. The flame hasn't turned yellow. It didn't melt immediately, but melted before the flame turned yellow. Crystal number three, white granular solid. Past immediate melting. Okay, flame is turning yellow right now. Still no melting. Flame's yellow, no melting. So this did not melt in our Bunsen burner. Crystal number four, silver colored, looks like filings. Okay, flames beginning to turn yellow. No sign of melting yet. Still no sign of melting. The sample didn't melt in our Bunsen burner. This is crystal five, it's a white fine powder. Okay, it hasn't started to melt. Okay, now it's starting to do something that's before the flame started to turn yellow, just before it started to turn yellow, crystal number five started to melt. Crystal number six is a blue large crystal This was a singular crystal instead of a powder or filings. Okay, the flame is starting to turn yellow. And still no melting. The flame is yellow, no melting. We can't melt this crystal in our Bunsen burner. Crystal number seven, fine grayish powder. has not started to melt. The flame is starting to get a hint of yellow. Okay, there's the yellow. No melting. Still no melting. Okay, I have a yellow flame and I have not been able to melt the sample. This is crystal number eight, a greenish granular crystal. It's been in the flame for a little bit, no melting. I'm just starting to see a hint of yellow. You can see the yellow around the base of the test tube, still no melting. So 
So I am not able to melt this sample in our Bunsen burner. This is crystal number nine. Crystal number nine is a granular powder, a little bit larger particle size. I put the sample in the Bunsen burner and it immediately started to melt. If I put it in a little longer, you can see it's turning into a liquid, continuing to melt. So crystal number nine melted immediately before the flame turned yellow. In fact, basically upon putting it inside the flame, crystal nine melted. Crystal number 10, this is a singular crystal see-through so it's hard to see inside of the glass test tube. Okay, it's in the Bunsen burner. Flame's beginning to turn yellow, still no signs of melting. The okay, flame is definitely yellow. The sample has not began to melt. This indicates that sample number 10 cannot melt our Bunsen burner. Sample 11, a blue granular solid. So it's been in the flame for a little bit. The flame is just beginning to turn yellow. It's sitting in the flame for a while. Flame is very yellow and the crystal has not began to melt. And finally, this is crystal number 12. This is a brownish filing. Flame is beginning to turn yellow. No sign of melting yet. flame definitely turned yellow with no melting. We were not able to melt crystal 12 in our Bunsen burner. Those are the observations for the determining bond type lab, specifically the property of melting point.